Florida State University, one of the largest and oldest institutions of higher learning in the state university system of Florida. In 1854, the city of Tallahassee had established a school for boys called the Florida Institute. On February 7, 1857, the first meeting of the Board of Education of the State Seminary west of the Suwannee River was held. It began offering post-secondary instruction to male students. Francis Epps, president of the seminary's Board of Education, instilled in the institution the Jeffersonian ideals which are characterized today. In 1858, the school became co-educational. It absorbed the name Tallahassee Female Academy. In 1863, when the state legislature changed the name to the Florida Military and Collegiate Institute, it was added to represent the military section which trained cadets. Civil War cadets from the school fought in the Battle of Natural Bridge and helped make Tallahassee the only Confederate capital east of the Mississippi not captured during the Civil War. In 1865, Union troops In 1897, the school became the first liberal arts college in the state. In 1901, it became Florida State College, a four-year institute made up of four departments. In 1905, the state legislator passed the Buckman Act. After state colleges submit a $700,000 budget, the act abolished all state schools and set up four new ones in their place. The University of Florida, the School for the Dumb, Deaf, and Blind, Florida Female College, and the ne Negro School.
In 1907, the first odds and even basketball game was held. When a student entered college, she was either an odd or an even, depending on the year she came to the school. In 1908, Bryan Hall was finished. It is one of the oldest buildings still standing on the Florida State campus. In 1909, the name changed to Florida State College for Women. March 9, 1910, Florida State College for Women laid the cornerstone for the administration building, now known today as Westcott Hall. In 1916, Westcott Gates were a gift from the classes of 1916 and 1918. In 1917, the fountain was presented as a, as a gift from the classes of 1915 and 1917. January 23, 1915, published first issue of its weekly newspaper called the Florida Flambeau. Newspaper remained for 57 years until funding cutbacks in 1972. In 1917, the First World War began. The Florida Flambeau published articles to encourage students to show their patriotism and help in the war effort through such activities as conserving food, joining the Red Cross, or buying Liberty Bonds. The 1920s brought a lot to the Florida State College for Women. It graduated its first blind student, Mabel Bates. It also brought about a lot of construction. Many more buildings were added, such as Reynolds and Broward Hall. In 19...
2024 Florida College for Women was in the American Association University's list of colleges and universities. Through 1927 and 1928, men were allowed to come to junior prom, and social parlors were established so men could visit the women. By the 1930s, the Great Depression created a large increase in transfer students. In 1930, Florida State College for Women enrolled a record 2,663 women. In 1934, the first male graduate for Flo Florida State College for Women, John Boyett, graduated. By 1941, Florida State College for Women was the third largest women's college in the United States. May 15, 1947, the governor signed an act of legislature returning Florida State College for Women co-educational and naming it Florida State University. The 1950s brought further development and expansion to the university. On October 28, 1950, was the dedication of Dope Campbell Stadium. This redefined it as a women's school no longer. In 1960, the university established the Institutes of Molecular Biophysics and Space Bioscience. In 1961, Maxwell Courtney is the first African-American undergraduate student admitted into Florida State University. The 1970s, Florida State University makes several changes to the way the university uses Native American names and symbols. In 1970, Dobby Flowers is crowned the first African American homecoming queen. In 1976, Bobby Bowden began the fall season at FSU as its seventh football coach. The 1980s were a good decade for women's sports, along with the Supercomputer Computations Research Institute opening. In 1991, students marched on Florida State University campus to protest a 7.8% increase in student tuition. In 1993, Shane Osceola became the first Seminole graduate from Florida State University. In the years following, 2001 to 2009, marked a period of major growth to the Florida State campus. 
However, in the year of 2005, when the NCAA put a ban on their logo and mascot stating it to be hostile and abusive, Florida State University went on to fight the ban over, the, over their mascot. Even Governor Jeb Bush said that it was offensive to the Seminole Indian tribe who support the traditions of Florida State University. To celebrate the ban being lifted, Florida State had a statue with the word unconquered on it as well as a statue of Chief Osceola outside its football stadium. In 2006, a course was created called History of the Seminoles and Southeastern Tribes. It was made possible with the input from the Seminole Tribe of Florida. After everything that happened with the NCAA, the course made sure to address Seminole culture and stereotyping. Florida State present day is thriving with multiple championships under their belt, along with so many amazing fields of studies.